Welcome back. Well, this video is going to be kind of short and quick to get the gear part out of the way. I have fallen way behind on my editing. And then this week I fell back even further because it turns out during all the rains and heavy storms we've been having here, the sump pump in my basement slash goalie cave failed. So I got water in the basement. It was only about two and a half, three inches or so. The good news is all the gear is safe. We were able to get down here in time before it got too bad. And ultimately it didn't get extremely bad with it only being about two and a half, three and a half inches. Got all the, all the pads and anything low lying picked up and stacked anywhere and everywhere we could and including sticks which you know for the most part were uh, standing up from the floor so some of them did end up with wet blades but they've dried off fine and the sticks will be no problem uh, I might have to retape them is all we're still cleaning up and getting rid of things I need a little break so I figured I'd try to shoot this intro real quick and do some editing tonight maybe hoping to have this all done down here this weekend today is july 2nd i'll flip the camera around give you a quick synopsis of the gear uh this is going to go pretty fast here okay so the gear this week is the reactor 5 series again these are an interesting set that i talked about in my reactor 5 review which I will uh, put up in the corner, a link to that video again, if you still haven't seen it. This is a set that came to me and they are a completely unbadged, unbranded set of Reactor 5 pads. I've looked at them, they match up. They're like a, the 1995 version of the Reactor 5s. Everything about them matches up identical. They're just unbadged, unbranded. I don't know why they're that way. I've never found any pictures, like if they were made for someone for international competition, IAHF rules, no clue. I do have some other unbranded pieces of gear from the same area, from the same contact. And those ones do have like the little um, manufacturing tag, like the neck tag from a t-shirt type of thing. And those do clearly show um, CanStar, Sporting Goods, Cooper manufacturing. They measure out to about 31 and a half inches. So I actually built um, risers that I installed in the skate to lift it up a little higher for some added height. They're only about one inch riser. The gloves are my amazing match set of Reactor 5, white with red accent, obviously. And I talk about these in my video too. I went with the SK2000 HM30 combo. Right before the game, before packing up, I decided it would be okay for me to just get rid of my uh, neck strap that goes from ear protector to ear protector. Watch the game video. I never had anything happen before, but I did this time. And then the jersey, that's an older coho jersey that I expanded quite some time ago with gussets. And I just did plain red gussets in the arms and body. I didn't do the white stripe. Someday I may go back over that and add the white to the bottom of the arm and to the belly. Stick is this wicked awesome, super pro light. And it is a custom pro. There's serial numbering, name. I believe that's Noak, N-O-K-E. And I don't think I ever discovered who that was and it doesn't ring a bell to me. So if you know who that was for, drop me a comment, let me know. Pants were my CCM Supra. And funny enough, I actually have a set of these with the Red Wing uh, embroidered logo down on the pant leg. But I didn't wear those because I currently have that pair modified with a yellow insert stripe down the legs. Game video is coming up. If you like the video, please hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell notification icon that way you'll know when I upload new videos and again hopefully I'll have new videos coming out weekly from here on out but we'll see thanks Friday night hockey hey Billy if you're watching man 
You're well, buddy. You're well. One nothing.
winning two to one after two.